against the wind Listen, laugh and learn and understand Hope, believe that you can It's the Women's Information Network It's the WIN! Welcome to The Wind Show. We're so glad you joined us. I'm Paula Fellingham, CEO of the Women's Information Network, thewinonline.com. We're the online home for all women, all ages, a community of women helping women. Our hosts are Heather Anderson. She's a runner-up for Miss USA. Laura Lee Christensen is the Executive Vice President of The Win, and Kim Coles is an actress, comedian, and speaker. Our guest today is Mary Laverde. She's a wonderful speaker and best-selling author. Mary believes that life is a balancing act, and her passion is finding creative ways to stay connected to what is really important in life. And we are so glad you're here. Thank we you. need to know what's really important in life. No, we know. <laughs> <laughs> first, we have to tell the audience the name of your two books. Okay. Oh, the first I love one it. is <laughs> Stop they Screaming at the Microwave. <laughs> and my favorite, I'm going to buy it tonight, I used to have a handle on life, but it broke. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's cool. Cool. Very clever. Very Thank clever. Love it. Yes. So we love that you've got a, a show on the win, the Mary Laverty mm -hmm. Life Balance Show. And, and, so, and all women, I mean, this is an issue for all of us. Mm -hmm. No matter what stage we're in, all of us are playing multiple roles. Tell us how you got passionate about this field. To Fifteen begin years ago, um, happily married, three little kids, I was on faculty with the School of Medicine, and I started trying to figure out how to keep my life in balance. Things were piling up. Mm -hmm. And when I researched it, they said things like, the experts said things like, um, do two th or three things at once, mm -hmm. um, get up at 4 o'clock in the morning and yes. exercise, Just get up early. make 50 no. meals on the weekends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm reading this stuff thinking, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> <laughs> I lost you at 4 a.m. Oh. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Yes. It was wow. insane back in those days, it's sort true. of the superwoman, it's some true. of us you remember. You can do yeah. it all. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's the thing that's interesting, though, is in many ways it hasn't changed. I talked to the younger gals, and they're still trying to come up with it. So I spent eight years researching. So how do you keep your life in balance? How do you stop screaming at the microwave that you want that 30 <laughs> seconds faster? <laughs> um, and what it boiled down to was that we needed an entirely new approach. Ooh, the like old that. ways <clears throat> were about what I needed to do, which is a very long, overwhelming list. Mm -hmm. And it was about kind of how miserable can we make ourselves? How little can we sleep? How fast can we go? How bad can we feel before we fall into a heap? Ooh, I, mean, I, I love love fall into yeah, a heap. So. Those days are over. Do oh, days are over. I want to hear how your idea of balancing is different, because your views are very different. They are very different. Mm -hmm. Here's what you need to know in three words. Connection creates balance. Connection. Connection. Oh. It is not about your to-do list. You will not find life balance on your to-do list. Mm -hmm. It is about connecting with yourself, your family, your friends, your colleagues, your community, your spirituality. Mm. I love that. When you feel bad, it's because you've disconnected from something that is very important to you. Mm. And the only known antidote to connect disconnection is connection. Mm. Interesting. So the new life balance question is, with whom should I connect? Mm -hmm. That is a fresh approach. Yep. Not, and it works. Like not that. how I can like I check that. something else off my list? Yeah. Not, so you're saying we should have smaller lists and connect more? Or how do we find that balance? Yeah. Well, that's a very good <clears throat> question. Everybody has to-do lists. They're mm -hmm. not going to go away. But here's my philosophy. If managing, organizing, delegating, prioritizing, and simplifying hmm. were going to work, it should have worked by okay. now. Right? Okay, that's good. And that was impressive, yeah. too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, a, I'm the queen of You've all this been stuff. I have yes. done all of it. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is feeling good is what life balance is all about. Mm -hmm. It is not about how much you get done. And in fact, one of the biggest barriers to keeping your life in balance is giving yourself credit for all the good you do. Yes. How many of you out mm. there go to bed, you've done 922 things right, but you think about the three that you didn't you get didn't done get quite that perfectly. True? Yeah. That's true. <clears throat> yeah. So, and that is talking about connecting with yourself. Absolutely. You've got to give yourself credit for all the good that you mm -hmm. do. So tell us about a success story. Well, one of my favorite success stories is that um, when I was on Oprah, it was the very first year, and she was doing Change Your Life TV. Mm -hmm. And, you know, her ratings mm -hmm. plummeted because and she was doing all this mm -hmm. different stuff. So at the end of one year, she said, okay, viewers, if anything has changed your life, let me know. Mm -hmm. So our viewer wrote in and said, well, um, Mary Laverty was on the show, and she talked about a memory jar. Mm -hmm. um, for my mother, I wrote 
on little pieces of paper, I wrote down memories of the times we'd had together. Oh. I remember the talk we had the night before I got married. Mm -hmm. I remember mm. calling you when your first grandchild mm. had been born. Um, I remember when I used to iron pillowcases for 10 cents a piece oh. Oh. so that I could I save go-go boots. Mm. Oh, now, there's oh only a few gosh. of us here who know what that. ironing and go-go boots yeah. are. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. So I wow. sent it to her and it just you know, meant everything to her. So the woman heard this story. She was estranged from her father. Um, when she mm. was an adult, her father had an affair, remarried somebody else, all kinds of family dynamics. She said, when I heard that story, I realized my dad had actually been a good dad when mm -hmm. I was little. Mm -hmm. So she said, I made myself a memory jar of all the wonderful things my dad oh, did. I love oh. that. Then, though, she said it was so good, I sent it to my father, who I hadn't seen in 10 or 12 years. He had oh. never met his grandkids. Wow. wow. And it brought them together, and Oprah reunited them on the show. Oh, oh. I love that. So for everything that you think, mm -hmm. oh, you get to be a speaker and an author and all this kind of stuff, the only thing that really matters is that you do get to live your mission. And my mission is helping people connect with what's really important and coming up with really fun, innovative, you haven't heard of it before, strategies that you can do that. Wow. Do you realize how perfect you are for the win? <laughs> you, I am very honored girl, for yes. this. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So every week I'll be giving you new ideas. And they have to be practical works in real life. Yes. The, yes. And it, believe I me, you're not going to have to get up at 4 o'clock in the morning <laughs> to do <Thank> them. You. <laughs> yeah. And mm -hmm. short strategies that women can put to use right away. And what they'll really discover is that they're already doing so many mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. So my job is to say, okay, do a lot more of that. And you know the running around feeling guilty, um, not mm -hmm. sleeping, that, mm -hmm. do a less, whole lot less of that. That list, the designating, and what was it you said uh, that are not oh, working? Managing, delegating. organizing, delegating, prioritizing, and simplifying. Yes. Wow. You put that to music. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So this is what your show is going to be about. Yes. Yes, and, and you'll, it has nothing to do with being married, single, widowed, divorced, uh -huh. whatever your situation any age, is, any, life any stage. age, you will take the idea, you'll turn it, you'll tweak it, and you will make it work for you in your life. Let's yeah. take one of those. Let's mm -hmm. take the prioritizing. Give us a couple of tips for that. How do you decide what is the most important thing to put on the to-do list that's still going to be You know, you should there? be in charge, because that's a really good question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rituals are a wonderful, wonderful way to figure out what's important to you. You know, if you had to sit, figure out every day what your priority is, you'd go nuts. Mm -hmm. So you put rituals in your life that you say, this is important, that's important, and let's get it in a ritualistic way. For example, easy things. Um, you read to your kids before you go to bed, they go to bed mm -hmm. at night. It is a ritual that will change their lives. My son is 23 now, he graduated from journalism, and he wrote me a letter on his graduation day and said, I am a journalist who loves words because you read to me every day. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Oh, so wow. we need to be that kind of parent where we think, you know what? When they grow up, they're putting this on the piece of paper and putting it in the jar and sending it to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love well, that. Then also, we don't want our, our women to be, feel guilty if you're not reading to your children every <laughs> night. But what we want you to know is that you can start now. And that's what yeah. it's about. It's like, uh -huh. and it's not reading every night. You could make your own ritual. You can that's say right. reread every Friday night when there I finally get home and take off my mm -hmm. shoes. Mm -hmm. The question isn't how can I be perfect. The question isn't how can I get it all done. Mm -hmm. The yeah. question is what's important to you, and how could I stay connected to that? You and know, that my mom gave us sack lunches maybe twice a year. Twice she she did not cook. There were, but she would write a little note on our napkin. Draw a little mm. tiny cartoon character. It's twice a year, but I still remember that. Mm. And it's impacts. one of the greatest things that I loved at school. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah it doesn't I love have how to down to earth you are. How yeah. practical. <laughs> <laughs> that, that you have tried this other approach where you just multitask yourself oh, to death. I, I, and, yeah. and you've got simpler, saner. Yes. yes. I thought answers. I had a handle on life, but, but it, it broke. broke. Yes. <laughs> and she has time to, to uh, uh, ballroom dance. Salsa. Salsa. Salsa queen. Salsa queen. Oh, you know? queen. oh <laughs> we have loved being with you. Thank you so much Thank for you. coming. Just My delightful. Pleasure. And we invite you all to go to thewinonline.com, where you're always going to get solutions, share your good ideas, and connect with women worldwide. Now choose to live joyfully with purpose and passion. And have a wonderful day. It's the Women's Information Network. It's the Wind.